Patrick's craft, which is going to be a rainbow with hanging clothes, and we'll be showing you step by step how to do it. So, in uh, materials first. Either a paper plate or, or just a piece of white paper. Very good. For the clothes, we're going to need either green construction paper or, or white paper, and we can color it with green. We're going to need some colors, some brushes, and uh, a pair of scissors and pencils. Very good. So, let's get cracking. And the yarn. Don't forget the yarn. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> Any color will do. So, first things first. If you're using the, if you're using the, uh, pop, the paper <laughs> plates, we're going to take a brush and the colors either of our choice or the colors of the rainbow. So, Miriam, mm -hmm. first things first, red. <laughs> Make a mess, then clean up. Mm -hmm. Orange. Very good, thank you. Well, you have orange there. I do. <laughs> Yellow. So while I'm doing the paper plate version, Miriam will be showing you the version with a uh, construction paper. Now, if you don't have a paper plate, we can use just a plain paper. And we can put the same paint on the paper. So we show the red one. With just a tiny bit of amount of paint. And what we're doing on the plate version is just follow the shape of the plate of the uh, of the shape of the plate that we have created and make some lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. Keep in mind that you might need to let it dry if you want to have a second coat. while until it's dry because then we have to cut out the rainbow and it's going to be the same one as the other one but without the paper plate I think it's stopped because I don't have enough storage While I'm doing this, Miriam, can you show the kids how they can make a cloth? Sure. Thank you. Because in St. Patrick and in St. Patrick, we have a lot of shamrocks. Sham shamrocks. 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 We are, I'm going to show you how to make those. With a piece of paper, again, green one or white one, you can color it. I'm going to show you a clue. You can draw four hearts. Hearts. There with the scissors. 
you've got this shampoo. We're gonna need like three, four different sizes. Marina, can we see what you're doing so Absolutely. far? What you've done so far? So far, I have one color to go of the rainbow, and then I will be gluing some cotton at the ends of the rainbow um, as clouds. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> okay, the shampoo is done. Here is example. Mm -hmm. Here you can see different sizes. We have a big one, medium one, small one. So we go back to our rainbow. We can glue also some cotton to make the clouds. Do we have the glue? Of Mary? course, sure. over here. Okay. It's not dry. So the first coat of the plate version, the first. Uh, color coat so it looks something like that you can either leave it to dry for for a few seconds and you can proceed adding a second coat of, uh, of color which I will probably do <laughs> I'm gonna put the cotton you have to put some glue at the bottom part and then we're gonna make clouds And what I'm going to do now is I will start. Oh, that's so cute! Thank you. This is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I will cut some pieces mm -hmm. of yarn. I'm going to try to cut it even if it's not. You can blue. use any color you have at home, guys. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be blue. If you have green, you use green. If you have orange, you use orange. Any colors we do, right? Yeah. Do you need some? I need the uh, scissors. Okay. okay there you go. I'm gonna try to cut the the rainbow. And uh, my friend Miriam has already cut for me some clothes, which I will glue. Where is that? Can I? Sure. There you go. You're welcome. Which I will glue on the. White glue might work the best, but ordinary glue strip will probably do the job too. Just remember to leave it to dry a few seconds. A little bit of tape. Let's 
suit.